Welcome back to Good Morning Idaho. It's itchy, crackly, oftentimes painful. It's that dry winter skin that most of us get this time every year. I know that I certainly do, and sometimes it seems no matter how much lotion you, lotion you swab in, doesn't always help. So today, Dr. Gavin Powell from the Dermatology and Laser Center in Nampa is joining us. Thank you so much for joining us, Yeah, Dr. good morning, Spencer. You've been on our show before uh, for Don't Friday in, in the summers. Of course, you've made a big push to help people, you know, stay away from skin cancer dangers. Correct. So we appreciate you being here with us this morning. Different problem in the winter. Not so much worried about, you know, overexposure to the sun, but Man, I have talked about it on the show before. You've heard me, and uh, at the risk of sounding girly, I worry about my hands because <laughs> they get cracked and dry and sometimes yes. even start bleeding on the knuckles. So what can people do if, if they come across this problem in the winter? Sure. I think the first thing we have to remember, Spencer, is that we live in a desert, so there's low humidity here. Yeah. So we have higher dry skin problems in this valley than we would if we lived in Mississippi or someplace with 100% humidity often. Which I'm glad we don't. I'm, I, I've got, yes, I've got no, to I'm throw that in there. I mean, dry weather has I'm its disadvantages, too. but has its perks too, right? Absolutely. And one of the main things uh, is, particularly with dry hands, is repeated washing and drying of the hands will lead to significant dry skin problems, what we call an irritant dermatitis. And so limiting uh, washing of the hands and using a soap-free hand sanitizer actually can improve that situation if you feel you need to wash your hands often. And then using a good heavy emollient or moisturizer. And using the creams is better than using the lotions. The heavier moisturizers will provide a better moisture barrier for you. And there are several different uh, brands out there that I recommend, but the one I... Some, some are better than others, right? There are some better than others. And in fact, there are some new moisturizers on the market that actually have the same types of fats that our skin naturally has. And so our body is not only able to use that as a moisture barrier, but also take that in and then resecrete it the way our natural moisture barrier is formed. And so they help repair it much more efficiently. And what brands are those that have some of the best uh, protection and healing? You bet. The uh, one that I recommend most often is called CeraVe. And Cera and CeraVe stands for ceramides, which is the types of fats that our body uses to make that moisture barrier in our skin. So it's just like the human, the human skin stuff that, that we produce, right? Exactly. It's, it's going to make it better. And is there anything, aside from, you know, we talk about lotions and creams, and, and some of those are better than others, like you said, the thicker ones. Correct. Uh, is, is that also preventative? I mean, say you don't have a problem just yet of dry, crackling skin. Is there something you can do to make sure it doesn't happen to you? or is it just the, would well, it be the same advice? Well, it would be the same advice, but to moisturize your skin regularly and also overheating of the skin, so hot showers, hot baths, and hot tubs can lead to more dryness, partic Interesting. particularly in the wintertime. And then right after you get out of the shower, if you can moisturize your skin at that point, you will actually be able to retain some of the water that you've absorbed while you've bathed. Oh, so good hints there. And, and sometimes it does get a little painful, I've noticed, with you know hot water and stuff like that. Yes. So the, the hand sanitizers then could be... A, a good bet to, they to can prevent be helpful. using those soaps, right? Correct. And also you want to use a mild soap. And the soaps I recommend most often are plain Dove Bar Soap. It's a nice mild soap that uh, does not overly dry the skin. And then some of the soap-free cleansers like Cetaphil or CeraVe Gentle Cleansers also are products that will clean the skin without overly drying it. Awesome. Well, those are some great tips. I, I sure appreciate that because, like I said, it's, it's, I'm sure it happens to everybody. You get that dry skin, and it's just annoying more than anything. So, hey, some great tips, some great brands to keep in mind as well. We appreciate you coming in, Doctor, and we'll